Hello, this video is for those who are having trouble or want to know how to create a DVIR on Samsara. First of all, we always want to make sure that we're already logged in. And <clears throat> once you're logged in, you will it will show you who who you are, the duty status time, how long you've been on um how long you've been on duty or off duty or driving or whatever it is status that you're in and this is where you enter your vehicle information so to begin your day and to create a dvir you want to make sure that we go on to your duty status time and we're going to go on duty and we're going to go to the beginning of, once you do your, your your day you're going to make sure you're on pre-trip save so <clears throat> right now we're on duty doing our, our, our pre-trip so once you do your pre-trip uh you're gonna go out there and check your truck make sure everything's running good uh the trailer as well if you're hooked up to one and what we want to do is add the vehicle right now i'm just going to pick, pick a new one and then the trailers we're going to pick any of them just to and in this case you're going to add your trailers so once you you added your vehicles and your trailers you do your pre-trip you're going to walk around the truck make sure your oil there's no damage to the vehicle that it's safe to drive and that the trailers are safe to operate as well so once we've done that we want to go to the to uh dvar and we're going to do create dvar and here is giving you the options of what you want to create a dvir for here we're gonna do the truck first. Gives you <clears throat> gives you the vehicle, the license, where it's at, portable yard. And what we wanna do is choose inspection type. There's two types of inspections. Uh, when you first get it, it's a pre-trip. When you drop it off, it's a post-trip. So every time you grab a trailer and you are done with it for the day or done for done with it for the, the load, then you wanna do one for when you get it and one when you drop it off. So we're going to do a quick walk around. Once you've done your walk around, you want to do a pre-trip. If there's anything that needs to be noted and, and taken in a picture because there's damage or whatever you want to report, you can add pictures here. And you can add the reasons that you're taking the picture. So in this case, you uh, can add whatever it is that you, you want to uh, indicate that is wrong with the trailers or the truck. In this case, we have no issues, so we're going to go to safe to drive. Now, for whatever reason, if there's something wrong with your truck and it's not safe to drive, before you put it unsafe, call your equipment manager, whoever it is, or your dispatcher. Let them know what the, the situation is. Don't put it unsafe uh, right away until they give you the okay. So, because they might be able to send somebody to fix it. Um but if they tell you no, this market unsafe, and you're gonna grab another truck, then just make that truck unsafe, so that when another guy comes in and has is using that truck for whatever reason, and they're not gonna be able to get into it because, well, at least not on the app, uh, because it's gonna be a red tag. So in this case, we're safe to drive. Go to next. Now you've created uh, a DVIR, giving you a thumbs up, telling you that we're good on that one. So we are gonna certify and submit. Now we're going to create another one for the trailer. Again, we talked about this. It gives you the trailer numbers. Uh, you can add in the location if you're wherever it's at. Um, you can add, again, pre-trip because you're barely touching it. And if there's any defects, you can add the defect pictures. And then you can identify what's wrong with it. They're adding defects. Now, once again, the same thing. If the trailers are unsafe, um, then you can um, call your, your equipment manager, let them know that what's wrong with the trailer. If he says, oh yeah, we, nobody should be touching that trailer, we're gonna put it on safe. So that way, whenever you are trying to get into that trailer, it's gonna show you that it's unsafe and they won't let you log into that trailer. But in this case, we're gonna write down that it's good. We're gonna go to next. Again, the same thing, giving you a thumbs up, certify and submit. Now it's, already notated here what you have done for today the date we have done pre-trip 
So let's just say you're done with the day or you're done with the load. You're gonna go to create DVIR. I'm done with these trailers. I already finished my load. Time to grab another one. You did your walk around. Everything's good. Um, you go to here to create a DVIR. You hit post trip. There's nothing wrong with it. No defects. Save to drive. Next. Certify and submit. And then now you want to do is you want to go back to where your trailers are at. And you want to delete these trailers and add your new ones. We're going to do these. You add your new ones, you create a DVIR for the new ones, post trip, no defects, everything's good, tires are good, tarps are good, no no defects, so we're good, save to drive, next, submit and certify. So as you can do your, once you drop off that trailer, you did your walk around when you unhooked, and now you're gonna do a walk around on the one you're gonna hook, make sure your lights work, there's no flat tires, the tarps are there, all that good stuff that it's in good shape and safe to drive and that's what we need to do to create a dvar now let's just say we're done with the day now it's time to do a post trip dvar to close our day <clears throat> you ended up staying with the same trailers because you you weren't able to pick up your second load or your wherever you're parked at you're going to have the same truck and trailer so we're going to do is go on here and we're going to post trip this because we're everything's good your truck's in good condition there's no reason to put any pictures if you want to note notate something you can put it in there um again we're safe to drive next submit and certify we're going to go to the trailers next now we're going to do a post trip because we're dry, we're done for the day safe to drive next submit and certify now you have created your post trip and pre-trip DVIR for each equipment you use during the day. And that's how you would do it uh, on Sansara.